It is illegal to act as a private militia in the state of Idaho. Has been since 1927. I mean, other than the state constitution forbidding private military units from operating outside state authority, there's a long list of groups who can gather and parade in public with guns, according to the rule from 1927, the law that is, and according to Idaho Code, only those honorably discharged or groups known as the, quote, sons of veterans and Boy Scouts, only they may parade in public, but only on Memorial Day or when soldiers come home from service or say in an escort service of a dead soldier or students at a school where military science is taught. They can parade in public with guns. All others pound sand. No body of men other than the regularly organized National Guard, the unorganized militia when called into service of the state, shall associate themselves together as a military company or organization or parade in public with firearms in any city or town in this state. That's the rule. That's the law. Well, for the second year in a row, the Idaho legislature is trying to repeal that law and make it so private militias can be out in the open in, in Idaho. Something the bill's sponsor says is already a thing in Idaho, despite the existing law saying they can't be. This legislation does not take a stance on the militia issue per se, even though armed citizen groups go back to the days of George Washington and his professed concept of having many small private militias for national defense, a concept that exists today in the form of community watch groups, private militias, and volunteer augmentees to aid law enforcement in times of emergency. Private militias, you heard him say that, a concept that exists today, Senator Foreman said. His bill would get rid of a lot of the language that is outdated, written the same year Charles Lindbergh flew across the Atlantic all by himself and then came to Boise, the same year a polio epidemic closed a lot of public schools across the state, and the same year the Egyptian theater was built downtown. That's how long this bill is, or this law has been on the books. And it would condense that law to say, no city shall pay for any such militia or give them a place to train or arm them, but a private unorganized militia, those who are already allowed to have guns by the U.S. and Idaho constitutions, they would be okay. And they can also parade if they so choose, with any weapon they so choose. What does parading mean? Well, that's a bit of this law that's a bit vague and not really well defined. As Senator Melissa Wintrow pointed out, that could mean parading in front of your kid's school or in front of a county commissioner's house. Senator Foreman says this bill is about getting rid of an old law that violated the First and Second Amendments. Opponents say it would just add weapons to a First Amendment right. If we vote for this bill, Idaho law will no longer have a policy that states you cannot uh, get together as a private militia. You cannot gather as a private militia. And those laws have been upheld again and again and again under the First Amendment. We have reached out to Senator Foreman to ask about this and how it would change things in Idaho. Because the question we want to know is, isn't it already legal to show up at protests, at rallies, at a parade, in front of a judge's house, in groups, with guns? I mean, if you've been around Boise for a minute, you've seen that several times. Remember the Black Lives Matter rallies downtown? The Pride Festival, maybe? Or the rallies opposed to abortion bans at the Capitol building? Well, this bill would remove the governor's authority over any militia and any city's authority to refuse to allow such groups to gather and demonstrate, to not allow them to give them permits in order to show up. It passed the Senate 24 to 9 and now moved to the House where a similar bill passed last year.